What's up guys? Um, a quick looking 99 here with you today. We are doing a whole brand new series called Block to Block. Um, basically what we do in this series is we judge graphics packs for Minecraft. And this first focus today is on Minecraft realism. How realistic can we get Minecraft graphics to be? So today we're going over the top five of my personal picks and favorites for, uh, I guess, visual packs. I have an overall rating for them, and there's six categories, scaled 1 to 10. So, starting off is this T64 craft, and as you can see, it's pretty good. And whenever we get to category 1 realism, it scores a solid 5.5, which you may not think that's big, but that's huge compared to normal Minecraft graphics. Um, I guess the main thing that kind of tears this down is the lava. How blocky the lava looks in comparison, how blocky just a little bit everything looks. If these graphics were clearer, I feel like it would really lighten up the game. Um, category 2 we're heading into, which is completion. Our completion category score is an 8.5, so that means there's just some miscellaneous items that aren't really done, such as this gold ingot and seeds aren't really done. I mean, it's just a few things that aren't done that should be done. Um, but that leads us into our category 3, which is fluency, which comes in at a 9. Everything is very fluent. It, it, the only things that really aren't fluent in this is this lava and the obsidian. It stands away from everything else that you'll see. So, it's, besides that point, this is a very fluent game, graphics type. So, um, let's go ahead and go right into daytime. How does the daytime look? The sun doesn't have a lot of detail to it, but it has a, a good shape to it. So, since it's not over the top, but it's alright, we're giving it a solid 7. And so, we'll head until nighttime now. So, we're going to go time, set, night, which heads category 5, nighttime. So, here we are. The moon, it, could, it leaves a lot to be desired, and it's what really brings this graphic pack down. Uh, it scores a 6.5, but it's just because this is so blurry. The graphics could be so much better for this moon to make this stand out, but they're not standing out. So that's the only problem here. If the graphics were clearer, it'd look about 10 times better. Which leads us into category 6, weather. So we're going to go ahead and go weather, thunder, and it'll start to rain. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so as you can see, it has round little droplets, which is all cool and fun and all that, and a little more rain than usual. Uh, it's looking alright, I mean, there's nothing too shabby about it. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go on to number four. Alright, number four here, Modern HD. Alright, these graphics, I really do like them. I think they're really cool if you're going to build like a modern house or anything really modern at all. I mean, the name says it all, Modern HD. They are very nice, high detailed graphics, as you can see. Um, it, it just all around looks great, especially if you want to do something modern, new, that stands out from everything else. Um, everything up here is done. It looks great. It looks really well polished and well thought out and well done. Um... So it leads us in category 1, realism. It scores a 6.5 because it's not uber realistic, to be honest. It looks better than Minecraft graphics by a ton, but it doesn't look, like, real. Nothing really stands out and says, hey, I'm real. So that's why it's only getting a 6.5, which leads us into category 2, completion. It has a 9.7 completion ratio. So um, I guess the only thing here is that there's a few miscellaneous things that aren't really done, such as this metal ingot that could be done, uh, the compass could have been done, or the clock rather, and the name tag, and the lead, all that could have been done, but it's not, but that's okay. That leads us into number three, fluency. Uh, I guess this kind of takes a hit because of um, what it does. It's a 9.5 rating, and that's just because some of the things aren't done, and we'll see another reason why it's not so great once we come to nighttime. Um, so let's go ahead and go and look at the daytime sun. That's just category 4. Category 4 hits a solid 8.3. The sun looks great. There's a lot of glare. The glare's not necessary, but, you know, because if you just look up like that, you're like, what in the world's that? You know, but besides that, it looks great if you're looking up at it this way, so it's kind of weird, so that's why that only got an 8.3, because if I look up here and I just see a random bubble floating in the sky, it's going to look kind of weird. So, that'll lead us into category 5, nighttime. So, time, set, night. All right. Uh, this is a really hard point for this, because nighttime on here scores a 5, because it's just a ball. A white ball with limited shading and nothing 
So it, it was really a letdown for this pack. That's what really brought this pack down in the rating. So if they would have spent more time on this, this could have easily been a third place. or It could have easily gone up to third place. But since it's not, we had to keep it here. So weather, thunder. Let's see this. All right. So the rain will start coming. Uh, there's very light raindrops, which I love. It's like little bouncy little squares, and it looks nice. It really blends in with the pack. Um, it's just really well polished again. This pack is really, really well polished. Um, it looks great. Um, I wouldn't change a thing about the rain. So overall, this pack gets a 7.6. So this will go ahead and lead us in to number three. All right, this leads us into our third place contestant, CubCon, which I think it's supposed to be CubeCon, but I'm gonna call it CubCon because that's what I have written down. So CubCon. <laughs> um, this is a really nice pack. It comes in third place, and I gotta say, it barely beat Modern HD. But it really does shine in so many other ways. Um, the graphics of realism comes into a big part. It has a whole one point more than Modern HD. Uh, the graphics just look so much more, like, actual realistic. Like, it really just stands out, like, art-wise. It's not as well polished, but it definitely stands out and grabs your attention. Um, this leads us into category 2, completion. It scores a 7 because of the items. There's just so many items that they actually didn't do, and that kind of just brings the pack down a bit, that they didn't spend the time to completely finish doing it. But if we look at fluency, uh, fluency here, it gets a 9. And you know why? There's only one reason why. I mean, I promise you, you'll notice it. Just look at this. These leaves are absolutely atrocious. You can see through them so clearly, and the leaves just like, like, where is this leaf even attached at? And it's just, it really tears down this pack right there. That's what the lowest possible thing that I could do to this pack is just rave on these leaves. I hate them so much. They look so ugly. <laughs> so, uh, that leads us into our number four. Daytime scores a solid nine. As we can see, it's just so well done. The sun, it's not necessarily detailed, but the, the light that comes off of it, it looks great. It just, it has its own flavor and uniqueness to it, and it looks really nice. I, I gotta give it props for that. But that leads us into night. Ooh, we got fires going here. Ah, ah, what's on fire? Oh no, all my flowers are on fire. Bad, bad, bad fire. Bad. <laughs> oh well. Um, all right, that leads us into our night time. So let's go. Uh, time set night. All right, here we go. This is the part that really tears it down, and it's this giant orange moon. I mean, it'd be cool if this happened like every three times, but it happens every night and it's just as orange and it like never changes. So it's like, really? Um, so for that, it gets um, <clears throat> a sad 6.5 just because it's so detailed, but it's just the wrong color. We want realistic graphics and that's not realistic to us. So besides that, the moon looks great. It looks really detailed, but it's not real. I would have loved it if they would have made it like that like every few times. But it's not. So that will lead us right into our weather category, category six. So I'll be weather, thunder, perfecto, and the rain is a pouring. It looks really great. The rain looks really nice and well polished for this pack. Um, but one thing is, is you barely see it bounce off the ground. Which, if they were gonna do that, I wish they would made it like bigger or easier to see or come up higher. I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. It's just something looks off about it. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's a great pack, and it gets a big overall rating of 7.7, .7, beating Modern HD by .1. So, um, that'll lead us straight into number two. Alright, so this leads us into number two, Skyrim Graphics. So, we gotta say Skyrim's amazing game to start off with, but the graphics on this, I mean, the sun looks great, uh, everything just looks so much more realistic. The leaves could look more realistic, but I mean, the bark under it looks great, everything just really looks nice. Look at this, this looks great, it comes up to head height somehow, it's so, it's so great. Look at that, even this watermelon, it has its own, like, kind of characteristics to it, and the water looks great, the magma looks great just everything looks so amazing even far out everything looks so realistic and nice and polished kinda just glimmers at you and it makes you feel so amazing I gotta 
gotta give props to this it looks really nice all the graphics flow just fine everything looks really great the only thing is the tracks could have been done so that leads us right into category one realism scores a giant 9.0 for realism uh, and then okay takes us back into category two which is completion and it hits a seven in completion sadly which kinda takes it down a notch but that's okay it's just some little miscellaneous items mainly stuff that you eat and like a few compass and clocks and all that but besides that it looks really nice it's really well polished and that leads us into category three fluency everything's like really does flow together I mean it does it it does a well job it, it gets an 8.5 in that category and it's just because the items that they didn't do everything else really flows nicely together um, this will lead us uh, go ahead into category four daytime which scores a nine that sun is just amazing the light rays change in it as you can see it just looks great like truly great so uh, I guess that'll take us to category five nighttime so let's go ahead and go set our time set Ooh, time set night there we go uh, the moon that moon is the best moon I've seen period that's the best moon you're gonna get in Minecraft right there um, it scores a 10.0 right that right there and it makes up for the stars it makes up for everything that moon is perfect you will never see anything better than that in minecraft i promise you so we'll go ahead and get into category six weather so let's do that weather uh thunder yeah there we go uh the rain looks really nice like this part of the rain it kind of looks like minecraft rain but it's not i promise you it's a little bit different uh the stuff that is bouncing off the ground is different though so uh, I mean, it's not it's not different. It's the same as regular Minecraft, but the other rain looks great, so we can ignore that. Um, so overall, this pack uh, gets a nice solid 9.1 rating, coming in second place, and this will go ahead and lead us right into, uh, I guess, pack number one. Bye. All right, and in number one, LB Photo Real is um. Look at these graphics; they are the best graphics you will see. Look how nice they are; they're just so great looking. Uh, everything here just looks ah. Everything here just looks so amazing and great. And there's just everything about it's great. Like even this guy, he'll turn around and look at us. Look at that; he just looks so real and great. Um, so this leads us in category one realism. It gets a ten. There is nothing realer you'll be able to see than this. I I'm telling you that now because it's true. It's just so realistic. So so realistic. It's unbelievable. It's truly unbelievable. It's there's just so much. Even the lava is so detailed. Everything's just so detailed. It's, it's really quite amazing. Um, so that brings us into completion. It scores a 10 in completion. Everything is done. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Everything is completely done. Looks great. Uh, it's just, it's a great mod pack uh, for graphics. Uh, that brings us into category 3 fluency. It has a 9.8. And that's just because of nighttime, which we'll get into. Um, that takes us into category four, daytime. Daytime looks great. Look at that sun. The sun looks amazing. It looks realistic. Uh, it's just perfect. It looks so great. Um, I guess that will lead us into <laughs> category five, nighttime. The point where this kind of goes downhill, but um, not too bad. So let's do that. Uh, time set night. There we go. Uh, the only real reason this has a uh, 7.5 rating is because they spent that much time on the moon to get it to look right. They should have been able to do the stars. That's the only reason why it scores a 7.5 there, just because of that one flaw. So if they would have spent the time that they spent on the moon to make the stars look right, to make it pop, this would have been a 10 times better graphics pack. But uh, they didn't, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into our weather now. Weather... Uh, Thunder, there we go. Uh, the rain's nice. Uh, it's very realistic and jumpy and bouncy. It looks really nice. It looks very realistic. There's a lot more rain than what there usually is, and overall, it's just a fantastic mod pack. 
Um, it, it, it really, you cannot go wrong with this mod pack. It has a 9.3, a 9.3 rating from my personal opinion and all the stats that I've given you. Um, I, I really think that this would, uh, really help your graphics. Like, you cannot go better than this. Uh, at all. There's nothing better to do after this. This is the best graphics for realism that I can state right now. Um, so, if you like the video, please subscribe for more block to block and to see other tutorials and modded Minecraft and just cool little stuff like that. Video games, let's plays, me failing at video games, which I know I did in Team Fortress 2 video. But um, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching the video. If you have anything that you disagree with or want to see in the future, comment and just let me know. Thank you guys for uh, spending the time here. Please subscribe. Bye.